by and large, the delays in Europe are not huge. 90, more than 90% of flights operate on time every day. There can be several other reasons, for example, baggage being lost or problems at security, that you might have a delay. But here we are speaking about what we call air traffic flow management delays. And those delays, last year, was about, on average, every flight was delayed about maybe one and a half minutes. Of course, not every flight was delayed. We had maybe about 8% of flights which would have had any form of significant delay, more than a 10 minute delay, for example. So it's not a big problem? It is a big problem because, of course, if the same aircraft was getting successive 10 minute delays and that aircraft is going from one city to another to another during the day, those delays could build up and it could be critical for the passengers and for the airline itself. Generally, there is enough capacity in Europe's skies and at the airport to handle the traffic on a normal day. However, you can get elements such as bad weather, which would reduce the capacity of an airport, bad weather on the ground, bad weather in the air. You can have over-demand during peak holiday periods. For example, at this time of the year, a lot of people are going on skiing holidays to small ski destinations. You can also have big surges in demand at the busy periods of the year when the capacity of the air traffic controllers in Europe is exceeded by the demand. And in that situation, we need to delay some flights, in other words, to keep flights on the ground to ensure that the capacity of the air traffic controllers is not exceeded. The situation delays has evolved over the years. We were in a very bad situation eight, nine years ago where delays were very significant. Over the last few years, the situation has improved dramatically. But of course, we had the economic downturn with fewer flights, 2009, 10, etc. Traffic is now recovering again and growing quite quickly. So over the last year, delays have started to creep up again. What has been done to, to minimize delays? First of all, at the level of all of the air traffic control centers in Europe, the air traffic control organizations have been improving their equipment, recruiting controllers where necessary to try and improve their capacity. Here, in the Network Manager Operations Centre of Eurocontrol, we have a critical role to play in trying to reduce delays. We have a, an excellent view of the very intricate and complex European network. You could see on the screen behind me the situation of traffic in a busy period of the day and where you see any red flight on the screen, that's a flight who had some sort of delay. Our job is to try and minimize those, those delays. We have a view of the whole network, we can see all the constraints, all the opportunities in this very complex network, and we are able to help the individual flights to meet their schedules, allowing the passengers to arrive on time. It is an exercise, an activity that we carry out 24 hours a day, every day of the year.